I've travelled to High Wycombe today and I'm here at Herco's head office and I've come to look at a five axis machining centre and I'm going to talk about the machine to David Waghorn, Managing Director. Good morning Dave. Good morning Paul. Dave, tell us about the Herco VMX 30 UI five axis machine. Okay, the, the VMX 30 UI is the most popular of our five axis machines, it's the best seller. It's, um, it's a five axis version of our VMX 30T model. So it has 12,000 RPM spindle, um, good power, good swarf management, um, and it's a trunnion-based machine. So this type of five-axis machine, would it lend itself to smaller components, precision parts? Yes, yeah, certainly. It suits. It probably best suits cubes or cylinders. About this model will take um, something up to about 250 to 300 millimeters cubed. Okay, and what about, what about the weight of a part that you could put on here with it being a, a, a fairly small trunnion? Yeah, it's, um, it'll handle up to 200 kilograms. Um, a lot of our customers seem to work in quite small parts. They tend to be very complex parts. Um, we have a lot of customers in the motor racing and the aerospace sectors. And what they try to do is get as much machining done in a single handling. Okay. And five axis machines, there are a lot of five axis machines on the market. So what makes this model of the Herco machine different? Yeah, I think, um, I think the Herco control certainly has a big impact on why someone would make a decision to buy um, a, a VMX 30U. Um, there's a great flexibility in the ways that which, in which you could program the machine. Um, also, typical with all Herco machining centres, we tend to build a lot of strength and power into the machine, so it's a very robust piece of machinery as well. So the combination of machine build and the capabilities of the control software really make it an attractive proposition. Make it stand out. So let's explore the control a bit more. Does this use the Ultimotion feature, this machine? Yes, it does. It has full simultaneous five axis capability and we're able to run Ultimotion, which is the high speed th smoothing capability um, in full five axis. And so what you're able to do is move around 3D parts very quickly and keep the surface finished to a good standard. So if, if I was to summarise from what you've just said, a Herco in terms of its build, so its weight and its rigidity, yeah. its speed and performance due yeah. to the software that you use and also the flexibility on the control are three big characteristics in the, in the benefits of the machine. Yeah, flexibility, ease of use. Um, awful lot of our customers are only making one-offs, small volumes, um, never quite sure what the next job that's going to come in through the door is and that's really where all those items together really really sell come in so this particular model how many of these machines would you sell now a year well that's a good question um probably about sort of 10 to 12 a year possibly something like that um uh, up, up to 20. What we're seeing with 5-axis sales is, um, I have a little graph, I, um, I sort of keep a record of how we sell, five, and 5-axis five is the one that's almost doubling in volume every year. So, um. And then is that sort of reducing your 3-axis sales, or are you still maintaining the 3-axis sales but you're just introducing machine tools into different yeah. markets maybe? 3-axis has stayed strong, but there's no question the growth area in the market is 5-axis. And, and at the moment, the five-axis trunnion is the most popular. I think it's 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 the most um, it's the, it's the cheapest way of, of making a five-axis machine, and and you can do an awful lot with that type of approach. So this particular machine, if we look at the characteristics, what sort of x-axis travel have you got and y-axis travel? Okay, so it's 760 in x, it's um, 508 in y, 520 in z. And the spindle is a 12,000 spindle? Spindle's a 12,000 spindle, yeah. It's a belt-driven spindle with chiller, um, cat, cattle BT40. The tool changer? Tool changer is 24 as standard, but we do also sell a 40 station option. And they're, they're both very popular, so we're about 50-50. And as I see the machine move here, can you achieve negative angles? Yes, you can. It's, um, it's minus 30 degrees in the A, I think, to plus 110, um, and then full rotation on the C-axis. So that does give you a lot more versatility, because some five-axis machines, you can't achieve the negative angle, so you can get off the Yes, you can get in very close and right up behind the machine. So this machine uses the, the popular WinMax control. 
Why is it popular, Dave? What features and benefits does it offer? OK, uh, where we have a real strength on the WinMax control is we have a very powerful conversational programming side, but also we have all the NC capabilities that you'd expect from any machine on the market. What our customers like to do is when there's an opportunity to use conversational programming, it can be very quick and easy to get a finished job done or a certain feature done with only a matter of a couple of keystrokes. It's also then very easy to go back and edit the program. A really good feature that we have on this control is what we call, um, which helps itself towards five axis programming, is what we call transform plane. The idea is that you can program whatever features you like in a two day um, configuration. You then rotate it to whatever plane you need. So a cube can be programmed as six sides, each as 2D items, and then the plane is just shifted to the plane you need. And is that unique to Herco? That's, um, it's certainly, I don't know of other controls that do it so easily as we do. So uh, something like a transform plane, something like this with uh, quite complicated features on them, it's only a matter of a few lines of code to come up with a finished part. So, so could you program from scratch a five axis simultaneous machining process on this control? Normally you wouldn't. So the moment you go to a 3D contour or a very complex part that was delivered by IGIS, you would normally go to you would normally program that within an NC file. Where the where the Herco conversational side comes in is most parts aren't simultaneous five axis. Most, most parts are angle drilled holes, machine features, tapped, um, all sorts of, or maybe a complex pocket. And that would be, that's where the 2D side would come in and you would simply drop that 2D part into your NC file if you needed it. And if you were a five axis user of another type of machine and you had programs already written in, let's say, a FANUC control or FANUC code, can that be imported into this version of WinMax? Yes, certainly. Um, we have full ISO compa compatibility. We call it industry standard NC. And it has, all, uh, in addition to the standard NC features you'd expect, it also has a lot of the fi fancy G codes that are used for five axis programming, um, such as um, tool point orientation and, and there's a very nice retract feature as well that if you're in a part and you want to change the tip, it'll allow you to retract from the, from the part without any of the other axes moving. It's quite a nice thing. And with five axis, it's not just about the machine, it's about the support. Herco offers that in abundance. You've got plenty of applications engineers on hand to be able to assist people. Yes, certainly. We have um, five applications engineers spread out throughout the country. We have a hotline that someone can access whenever. And then, of course, we have a full network of service engineers as well. Um, yeah, there's, it, it, we're, with Herco, you get the control, the machine, all in one package. So if you call a Herco person, he will support everyone, everything. He won't be saying, oh, I'll have to get the panic engineer in. I'll have to get the hotline guy out to this. He'll, if he's a Herco guy, he'll know everything about the machine. So there we have it, a real education on what's available from Herco here in the UK. For more information on this machine or any Herco machines, you can visit mtdcnc.com or Herco Direct.